that's good enough I, so there we have it and so this is going to increase the ar again let's do it for uh 05 05 31 27 and so increase ar by the by the 37 increase revenue by 35 and the liability by the two let's do it one more time well let's record it over here first on excel so i keep the pattern going over here i'm going to copy that paste it down here but it's a number three month a to the r let's just copy this down copy it down copy it down and then this is going to equal the 37 let's copy that down and so what happens now after the next month the ar would go down again if this was so this is like the only thing in there you can see right it's still wrong because it's negative ar instead of a positive liability under revenue but easy to follow easy to have the sub ledger ease of easiness is is a good thing don't let anyone convince you otherwise easiness it's supposed to be easy so stuff if stuff's not easy something you're thinking about it wrong or someone's lying to you probably because they're making it complicated to try to sound smart or something so there we have that okay and then so if we so now we can see what's left in here we have three months pass and it was 35 a month times two right equals 35 times two so is that is that how how what yeah i didn't include the sales tax though so it was <laughs> if I include the sales tax, it's uh, 188.56 divided by five and, and now uh, times two. So there's 75.42. So that's what's left two months worth, uh, including the sales. And again, the sales tax are kind of throwing, you know, a, a little bit of wrench into the situation here. But uh, so so you might have to deal with the sales tax in different ways, depending on where you're at. But there it is the general concept is still clear see the government is one of those people that try to make that they make things complicated that's what i'm talking about it should be easy but no but no government comes in and taxes it don't worry the tax is going to be simple you'll understand it how am i supposed to under it makes no sense you wrote a law a bill and then called it like some crazy name like an inflation reduction act that has nothing to do with like what you named the bill after and then it tells me to do all this stuff that i don't know how anyways you can see the pattern here and then if you go into the profit and loss uh we can see the pattern over here but something's wrong let's go into the customer center uh something Oh, I need to change the range. You need to change the range. Going out to 053127. So there we have the pattern. 35 being picked up per month. Uh, the total net income thus far at 255. Is that what we have over here? No, it is not. But I'm just looking for these three months. So I've got 35 plus 35 plus 35, 105. So that's what we have over here, 105 for this third one because the other two months we're using the, the last one so we did scenario number one uh with uh, with no the normal routine no prepayment scenario number two the psychedelic surfboard deposit scenario number three is the unearned revenue subscription model where we haven't yet collected all the revenue uh because we're, we only went three months out instead of, instead of the last two of the five months but hopefully that gives you an idea of the normal kind of processes and how they might work under the negative AR system. And then in future presentations, we'll do the same latter two uh, uh, with, the, with the unearned revenue, which will add another account over here on the balance sheet instead of having, and we'll see some pros and cons because again, it's great to have the unearned revenue properly recorded down here, but it also means that we have two accounts that we have to deal with subledgers for our customers, which makes it a little bit more difficult on the bookkeeping uh, side of things, but th those are the pros and cons.